Next, is, okay, we're gonna dive into the different traffic sources here and what works for them. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So, some display traffic sources for affiliate marketing may include Site Scout, Propeller Ads, ClickSort. I mean, there's a lot more. There's Google Display Ads and all these things. Those are just a couple right there. And then what converts on these traffic sources? I have listed right here. Offers that pay out on a completed sale or health or beauty campaigns niche offers that directly relate to these niche site and blogs, okay? So you want to advertise on liter literally niche sites. So you can advertise for the exact keywords or you can specifically manually decide what you want to advertise on, what sites, very, very powerful. And guys, uh, display ads is very powerful. Also, you can, you know, if uh, with um, adult traffic, it's also display and you can advertise adult offers on adult um, if that makes sense, and that's display traffic. Okay, so um, yeah, um, completed sales are typically the best for this because the traffic's more so and more commonly it is more expensive compared to other alternatives, okay? But um, adult traffic's one of the cheapest, obviously, and that's relevant to display, so that's why I bring that up. But um, all the other display traffic sources, they're typically more expensive. Also, native is slightly more expensive. We'll dive into that a little bit later. And um, straight up, like you got to promote cost per sale offers and you got to have a good thought out funnel. I mentioned that in the beginning of this because when you pick a traffic source, you need to make sure you're actually having a great, great funnel where the numbers work out, where you can be profitable and where it's all awesome. Next is right here, pay-per-view contextual traffic. So what I mean by this, and you're gonna find out what I mean by this in a minute, but um, some good platforms for this is Red on Red, Propeller Media, Direct Cost Per View, and even Propeller Ads, okay, is good. And even like push networks are somewhat relevant to this also, so push traffic. And, um, you know, it's always popping up all the time, so I shouldn't be even saying names of what different networks for all these different traffic sources I mentioned, because things change, things come and go. But I feel like Propeller Ads will be around forever, personally, so you, that should be your go-to. And um, those are just a couple others I've listed just for fun. Okay, what converts? You need to present value to the user quickly if you're promoting with pay-per-view. Okay, what's pay-per-view? It's basically pop under traffic or pop over traffic. So what that is is basically someone clicks a link and it'll open up your uh, website or funnel page in a new browser or in a new window or in a new tab. Like it can be crazy sometimes like how it does it. And basically, the thing is, because that happens, you need to have instant trust and instant, like a desirable offer presented to them. Okay. And if you have a good video sales letter, that's really effective. So they can start taking the micro commitment of pressing play and watching it. And then also scrolling down after as they're watching it and reading the sales page. That's very powerful, but you've got to have trust factors. There's a lot of elements to trust factors, but usually the 25 biases, which I've talked about a lot, you can Google if you want. Those are very powerful um, to build trust. Okay. Next is offers with short forms as well as travel and sweepstake campaigns do this well. Okay. So things that convert very easy. It's very hard to convert someone with um, pop under traffic that is a cost per sale offer. It's very hard to get someone to bring out the credit card and buy when they're not fully trusting what just happened because it opened up in a new tab, right? So that makes sense, right? <clears throat> so you gotta understand that. Next is search traffic. And search traffic is very powerful. We all know what it is. You know, Yahoo, Bing, uh, Google, and et cetera. There's even like crazy um, search engines like DuckDuckGo or whatever it's called. So anyway, search traffic can work for a wide array of niches, but many of our affiliates find success with diet and loan offers. So what, what we're saying here is basically with search traffic, by the way, anything can convert and it's the hottest traffic out there. I would say more so warm. If it, if it already knows who you are when it's searching, if it's a certain keyword that's like a brand search keyword, then that's hot traffic. If it's warm traffic, it means they're just in search. It's They're in search for a solution. Those are some of the best. And then there's like buyer intent keywords, like best deal for uh, Amazon Echo or best deal for a hardware or uh, a flash drive or something like that, or like a laptop or something. And people search for that and you can literally have your funnel set up and you send people to like a blog looking page and a website and all that because that's what Google wants people to go to for the 
for what you link to. It's very, very powerful. And I mean, it's mandatory. <laughs> and then you basically educate them, give good, good value, and then link over to your sales page in a no brainer offer. And they enter your funnel, okay, to your stuff. Okay, very important. That is how search traffic works. And it's like very warm traffic, uh, highly, highly recommended. Next here, we have native ad traffic which what converts with native ad traffic is all sorts of things, but mainly health and diet and wealth and love niches. And, you know, tech products work, finance products work, even credit relief products work. And native traffic is very, very powerful, by the way, once again. And here's the thing about it. Like there is so much volume on the native traffic platforms. It's insane. So there are things called Taboola. There's Outbrain. And there's a couple other ones, but those are the major ones. And my go-to one would be Outbrain, I would prefer. And, you know, that's just a matter of opinion between people. But straight up, you should be on all of them and test them all. And when you scale, you should be definitely on all of them and get in front of as many people as you can with your campaign. And, you know, you can crush it. So, you know, you could totally just become a master of native ads alone. And, you know, they're not as strict as social platforms like so, like um, Facebook and Instagram and and all those ones, okay? They're not as strict as those. Okay, those are interruption marketing. This is interruption marketing as well, but it's just for native. And it's kind of like display traffic too, okay? And uh, at the end of the day, that's all I gotta say about that. Next, we got social media traffic. Now you might have to zoom into the screen here because this is super, super small. So um, the most common social media platforms that affiliates use to promote offers are Facebook, Instagram, Plenty of Fish. Don't know why I put that down, but yeah, it's closed. And YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Pinterest, okay? So for social media traffic, those are the most common ones. Obviously, Facebook is a big deal. And then next, here's the cool thing. You can, like, they collect data about the user. So they know the device type. They know the interest, the age, the gender, the geographic location. And, you know, you can target all those things. And the coolest thing about it is you can target the interests, which is huge, baby. Okay, like... If you were trying to sell like to people who like pets or have a pet, you'll know that, especially with Facebook ads. And you can get right in front of them with your ad and uh, sell to them. So it's crazy. And that applies to all sorts of things. What converts with social traffic, you're wondering, is trusted brands, definitely e -com. You'll see a lot of us dropshipper people talk about, you know, doing dropshipping, okay, and using that platform as your main go-to one. You could also do search traffic if you're doing e-com, by the way. Uh, people searching for keywords, buyer intent keywords all the time just for that one select sort of uh, angle you're going with or type of product, whether it be watches or jackets or shoes, okay, like literally they're searching now. Those are competitive, so you wanted something pretty niche specific, okay. And typically something that solves a pain point will sell really well. And you can add bonuses to, and, you know, you can really, really angle the product towards fear and pain and fear of pain. And uh, it works really, really well when you understand that type of psychology for selling uh, pain point products. But anyway, that was a little tangent. Anyway, other things that do well on social is clothing, dating, and games and tech and gadgets and also sweepstakes. Okay, moving on. Here we are, mobile traffic. What converts with mobile traffic? Apps and mobile games, okay? And, you know, also sweepstakes convert with that really well. So anything where you do like an email submit converts really, really good for mobile traffic, okay? What is mobile traffic? Basically, you know, once again, it's basically on apps and games, okay? Typically what we mean by mobile is it's when people are already on an app, okay? Uh, or they're already playing a game. And so the best things to convert is apps and games or sweepstakes or free things, uh, obviously, right? So that's just to explain what that is. That is what it is. Next is email traffic. Email traffic is the crux of the internet. When you collect emails, it's very, very powerful because every person on email list or worth a dollar, okay? Or more or less per month, depending on how many offers and how many times you email per month, okay? What converts with email? Everything, okay? But uh, loan, debt relief, e-com, education, biz op, um, et cetera. And you know what? I also promote, you know, adult through it. So how you do that is you can literally, you know, set up an email sequence 
where basically you send in every single email to an offer wall of a bunch of offers and people will go to the offer wall in every single one of your emails and not all people open the emails, but every single person will open one of your emails throughout your sequence, the whole sequence um, on one of the days or a couple of the days. And they're going to get sent to the offer page and they're going to check out all the offers and they're going to convert on at least one because there's a percentage that will always convert. Okay, so you got to realize that. And you can also promote sweepstake offers, mainstream offers, just everything. Every vertical will work with every one of these traffic sources. You can make work with every single vertical, but some work better than others, uh, especially native, for example. And then the incentive traffic and the mobile traffic, they have their own things that work. So incentive right here. Surveys and sweepstake offers definitely convert with incentive. Incentive traffic is basically a mindset traffic, if that makes sense. So you could be sending traffic from social, but it's called incentive. And what that means is basically you could be doing content locking or offering incentive for them to convert on a sweepstake or a survey offer. So basically what happens is you say to them, complete this offer and I will give you blank de blank, like a free, a free, um, ebook or a free course or like a free, I don't even know, like you could literally, I don't even do incentive traffic because, uh, the advertisers of the offers you promote, they don't like incentive traffic. Okay. Cause the quality is really not there because it's people not really interested in the brand they're opting in for, but you know, we can, it can convert really well because of the power of incentive. Never underestimate the power of incentive. Okay. Free stuff works and uh, people love reward. It's called reward bias. It's insane. And, um, yeah, never underestimate the power of that. There's also another one called over optimism tendency. And that one is crazy. I remember I struggled with that one a lot, but because of um, the fact of just being aware of it, it makes me not suffer from that problem. Okay. Of being over optimistic. So I think I see things in all areas and now, so pes a pessimism side and also an optimism side instead of just optimism all the time. I remember growing up, that was one of the biggest problems with when I start new ventures. <clears throat> and I see a couple of you guys struggle with that. That's okay. Cause that's good to make you take action and, uh, have it work. But, uh, yeah, people are over optimistic generally, and then combine that with reward bias and reason respecting tendency. It's crazy powerful with sweepstakes. And that's all I gotta say for that.